Hello, I'm back. This is another unexpected stream, but uh, I thought I'd mix it up. Uh, let me open up the chat. I was hosting Ben Feingold for the last uh, couple hours, but now I'm not. Um, so what I'm gonna do is play some games. And this is not going to be chess. This is going to be drafts. Good luck, blitzing. Um, <laughs> I've started playing this game uh, for mm, just a few days now. And it's actually great. Like, It's a great kind of situation where I'm just a complete beginner again. And I'm just trying to uh, kind of figure things out. And I think it gives me more appreciation for people who are just starting out chess, who maybe aren't quite familiar with like all the complex tactical ideas. Um, so it's fun. Been enjoying some uh, some blitz games, some investigation into opening principles and strategy, and etc. Anyway, uh, let's go for a trade. Forcing move. Yeah, that pre-moved. I'm going to take away from the center. Even though I should be controlling the center in this game, I want my piece here. This is a useful square, uh, from at least what I've seen. Uh, I'm not playing checkers. This is not checkers. This is drafts. Checkers is... Um, is a slightly different game. Looks very similar. This is a 10 by 10 board. Uh, this is very similar to checkers in the sense that pieces can jump over to capture, but there are some differences. Um, I can try and explain the rules, uh, but I'm playing on a site. It's called leadrofts.org. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's been it's been launched like a week ago. And uh, they cloned Lee Chess. So they've cloned like the whole code base of Lee Chess and just changed it to, uh, to drafts. So, okay, let's start moving towards the center. Uh, I'll start with this. And I want to just improve the position of my pieces. Uh, it seems like at the beginning of the game it's more positional, and then later, uh, like later middle game, it becomes more tactical. Hello to people in the chat. John Urschel, welcome. I was watching John's stream earlier with Anna Rudolph. It's good stuff. Uh, what are the rules? So the rules are like checkers. You can take pieces by jumping over, uh, like one square. Uh, if you can take something, you have to take something. So there's, there's a whole concept of forcing moves. Uh, what else? If you can double jump, let's say you have an option between double jumping and single jumping, you have to take the maximum number of pieces. Uh, let's move towards the center. Um, unlike checkers, uh, all the pieces can move backwards, uh, which is actually which is a bit confusing when you're first starting out. Very easy to miss backwards moves. Uh, okay. What else? When you promote, you turn into a king, not a queen. And the king can move uh, like a bishop in chess. It can move diagonal as many squares as, as it wants, and it can capture by jumping over things. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, ooh, I see. Why do you ask me? <laughs> uh, giving a very good explanation, I think his username suits his, uh, suits his response very well. Um, so like in this situation, I have two different options. I uh, don't know if it's going to make a difference. Let's take here first, and then I'll, I'll have to take next move. So more trades. And uh, okay, like, uh, like chess material is a very big factor of who's better. So if, I, if either player is to find a tactic which wins even one piece, I think that's a very big advantage. 
And if you can find a tactic to like force a promotion, that's also a very big advantage. So the position is actually opening up. We've traded a lot of things so far. Um, I think I should keep improving. I'm gonna move this guy. And it's important to have like reinforcement. Sometimes if you have gaps between your pieces, okay, I have to tick. Wait, oh, this is 3-0, I have to move quicker. I forgot this is blitz, uh, I have to move much quicker. Uh, this is probably gonna come down to flagging the guy. Uh, this is already a tactic, because he had to take, and now I triple jump. Um, that was actually an easy tactic. But I do have to play quicker. We're going to trade pieces. Um, it's taking a while to take. Sometimes if you don't realize you can take, it won't let you play any other move. Oh, wait, he just disconnected, though. <laughs> but now he's reconnected. But he gave me a time advantage. How to avoid blunders. It's the same strategy as chess. To avoid blunders, you have to visualize the move before you make it and make sure you're not completely insane. That was another triple jump. Okay, and he's disconnected. Good game, blitzing. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I apologize for the people who were looking forward to watching chess, but... Um, I don't know, this is exciting for me. This is just for fun. So um, I do appreciate the people who are watching and maybe enjoying this. Uh, let's play Why Do You Ask Me. Uh, this guy knows the rules because he basically shared the rules in the chat. But he's a new player, looks like. He's played, uh, ooh, he's played a few Ultra Bullet games. OK, this I think is the most common first move because you want, like, you know you want to get the corner piece and it's just most flexible to bring stuff towards the center. Hello, Prince Cassidy. Thanks for your comment. That's very flattering. What's the name of the site? The name of the site is in the stream title. Uh, leadroths.org, very similar to leechess.org. And I did get the permission from the leechess mods to use leechess in the title, so I believe Lee Chess is featuring my stream right now, even though I'm not technically playing on their site. Um, but okay, they approved it. Uh, I'm gonna play here, because this these squares are usually valuable. Like if you're on the edge, it can generate some tactics. For example, like someday if I play here and he has to take, and then maybe I could like triple jump or something, I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's play. Wait a minute. I think he just missed a tactic. No, he didn't. I was thinking he could have played here and then take, but that's just a trade. So I think I can get away with this. This is a move I kind of have to be concerned about because it weakens this guy, but I think it's okay. I'm in Samani. This is not checkers. This is drafts. Um, it's a game which I learned just a few days ago, but uh, I'm enjoying it. There's a lot of similarities between this game and, uh, okay, this game and checkers, but this game and, and chess. Um, there's lots of concepts that overlap between like tactical and positional thinking and um, forcing moves and opposition and sacrifices. What else? opening traps, end games. I'm still very much a beginner. Okay, so he prevented me. That's probably a fine move. The one thing I'll admit, I don't really like closed positions because I don't fully understand them. I actually prefer it if it's more tactical, but I feel like I have to play positional. I'm just gonna improve. My, um, I was about to say my king side, but uh, whatever the side of the board, the right side. Uh, I was thinking about this, but then he double jumps, and that would be bad. So 
so let's improve. <laughs> you looked on Lee Chess for new variants. Yeah, this is, uh, this is quite the, the chess variant. Um, I was hearing some rumors that there, there's a new Lee Chess variant on the way. Had some pretty good inside source, which I'm hoping to actually check out soon. Um, what to do here? I'm just going to do this. Wait, that could be be dangerous. I'm going to do this first. Maybe do this. So checkers and drafts have different rules. The same concepts apply where you ca capture by jumping over things. Drafts, there's, um, the main differences are pieces, pieces can capture backwards, and when you promote to a king, it's, uh, it's like a bishop where it can move any number of squares diagonally. So I think it's a bit more complex than checkers. And it's a 10, 10 by 10 board, so just naturally more pieces. Okay, I want to trade because this, this position is really annoying me. Um, ooh, I actually might see a tactic here. I think I can play this. If he takes this way, then I double jump. And if he takes this way, I can take. He has to take back, and then I double jump, and I win material. So let's go for that. The great thing about this site, there is a whole puzzle section. So um, it's like Lee Chess Puzzle Trainer, where you just you solve the exercises, you get rating points. Um, so it's probably the main way that I've been training. Drafts is not solved. I know checkers is solved. I don't think drafts is solved, but I don't know much about it. I was looking up like YouTube videos of drafts. I could barely find anything. I type in drafts in YouTube and only checker videos come up. So it seems like there's very little content for it. And I have no idea where this game is even popular. I know um, Ivanchuk got into it for a little bit. There's that kind of viral video of Ivanchuk playing um, at the world. Whoa, he's allowing some triple jump. That was generous of him. I think if you follow chess content, at least for the past few years, the Ivanchuk video like circled the web, um, or he had some like incredible drafts game during some closing ceremony, and they called his name, and he had to like sprint up to accept his uh, his trophy. Okay, I want to go here to destabilize this, but then he double jumps. So, what to do? Go here. Looks logical. Now I'm threatening this. I'm not sure how he stops it. Maybe he has to play this. And we trade. Why didn't I king? Because I have to jump over something to king. These guys are stuck. Uh, <laughs> it's like when pawns are stuck. But pawns are stuck when they're like across from each other. These guys are stuck. So they're on the edge and diagonally from each other. Okay, yeah, so he's going for this, forcing line. I'm going to play this. Because I want to play this, force this, and then do this. Also, I don't know notation because the squares are named differently. Pretty sure this is square 46 and this is square 5. But other than that, uh, I still have some learning to do. I move 13. Did I miss something on move 13? I don't see what I missed. I mean, this is my only double jump. I missed a king on triple. Oh, did I have a triple? When I triple jumped, maybe I missed something. Okay, so I'm going for this. When did I triple jump? Ah, I forgot I could move forward. Okay. That was, uh, ooh, this is bad. 
I just blunder back something? Because he can, I forgot he could double jump. That's not good. I guess I'll capture it here first and then see what he does. Like, he's already set up the tactic. But I'm up three pieces. I'm about to lose one back, but I'll still be up two. It should be okay. So, yeah, this is a problem. Like, I have to allow the double jump. Because next move I'll have to take. Nightbot with the command. That's cool. Astro Lalo. <laughs> it's funny who the people who join just have no idea what this is. Uh, that's an interesting move. Okay, to take. Now this scenario he has to double jump. He can't. Uh, he can't single jump. He might be trying this right now and realizing it's not a legal move. Um, he would like to do that and then, or no, he would like to double jump. Okay, so now the problem is he's threatening this. And it's not entirely clear. It's actually a big problem. Because I would like to stop it, but that only gets like destroyed. So, looking for tactics where I do this and force this. I don't think much works. I'm gonna go for this. And hope he's not winning. Sometimes when you like have a, a piece separated, it's like a it's like an isolated pawn. Or like a pawn in the opponent's territory. That was a really good move. This is a fork. Which I forgot he could play. That's unfortunate. So he's coming back, like he's winning material here. I think I would rather him take backwards. And then I'll just focus on a strong center. And yeah, let's continue. I'm going to move up. My plan is to do this and then this. Then he would have to take and then I get rid of this guy. He might have the same plan on, uh, on this side. Wait, what was my plan? I <laughs> already forget my plan. Oh yeah, to do this. It's the thing about uh, about this game, at least about being a beginner. I'll play like a full game, and I'll have no recollection of what goes on or like how to recreate the game. Like none of the moves like stick in my mind. If like if the position disappears, I wouldn't be able to like set it up and recreate it. Maybe I could recreate some of it, but I still don't have like that intimate relationship with the pieces yet. Okay, so I'm still up. I don't even know what we call like, up a pawn, up a piece. Still don't know like correct terminology. I'm going to play this, threatening this. And then this is some nice opposition because if he ever moves here, I just capture. So let's focus on improving. Hey, it's a donation. Cover donating $20. What is the message there? Almost 1,400 in rapid, thanks to the London. Uh, congratulations. London is, is a great opening. Um, feel free to like send me, like if you have questions regarding anything, feel free to send me questions. I will be starting a YouTube series soon where I'll be, I'll be answering viewer questions. Uh, okay, let's improve. Let's start with this, be more flexible. I'm not sure if I wanna go this way or this way. This is another overlap with chess, is the concept of staying flexible. Ooh, he wants to do this. That's okay, play this. Just gonna try and play flexible moves and not be too committal. Oh, move towards the center. Okay, I, I actually have to focus because this is, this is a 5-5 five -five game, but I'm below a minute. I'm up material, but as we see, things can quickly change due to blunders. The goal is to play this. OK, 
Okay, now I'm spotting a tactic, but it doesn't quite work. Let's start with that. This is a really nice formation. It's called the pyramid formation. But I, <laughs> I just made that up. Now, can I do this? Capture. It'd be really nice if it works. Capture there, capture, and then I quadruple jump. He takes back and I play there. I think I win a piece. If he goes this way, I just quadruple jump again. Ah, so he takes that way, but now I win everything. And he has to take backwards. And now I'm in good shape. Oh, he just resigns. Okay, I was up four pieces. He would have to take back. I would be up three. Yeah, it's a easy win. Okay, that was fun. That was a nice, uh, nice kind of tactic there. Like the, the sacrifice where he can take both ways. The great thing is we have the analysis board. Can analyze the game. Um, there's no stockfish though. I don't know if there's a droughts engine which exists, but uh, I guess that makes cheating a bit more difficult. Also, thanks for the, the host, Halvard. Um, anyway, the plan was, I'm, this was a critical line. Uh, <laughs> another overlap with chess. Critical variation. I was planning to do this. So it's a double sacrifice to get the quadruple jump. So I would win, I would win a piece here. I'd be up, uh, okay, he has five and I have, I can't count. I have eight. No, he has six and I have eight, so I'd be up two. And then I would stop this guy from promoting probably by moving here. And should be good for, for white. Anyway, that was fun. Um, <laughs> so the great thing about streaming this, because I was playing earlier and I wasn't streaming, it was really hard to get a game. Because when you go to the home page, you can see how many players are online. You can zoom in here. I can't even... It's hard to show people, but on the home page it says 27 players online and one game in play. And um, when there's so few people online, it can be hard to get a game, no one in the lobby. But I have four pending challenges. So yeah, let's just go in order here. <laughs> I'll play viewers. Amin Samani, can I play chess? Crying face. That makes me feel bad. I've played so much chess though, like I need a break for chess. Um, you, I got you a sub. Check your records. Oh, that was not directed at me. Okay. Uh, let's start with this. And go right away for the square. I'm still at a point where I'm not really sure what I'm doing in the opening but I'm sure most of my opponents are maybe a bit confused. I'm already looking for tactics because this is weak. These two things have no, not the best support, but I don't think there's anything yet. So let's move towards the center. Have you seen the video of Ivanchuk playing droughts with Yobaba? Yes, I, I mentioned that video just a few minutes ago. A uh, very viral video. Um, there's a few other videos on YouTube of Ivanchuk playing, which I was actually studying uh, just the other day. Okay, so he wants to capture here. Wait a minute. But then I can double jump. He jumps. So I actually have a tempo here. Maybe set up a tactic. But I've... I don't know. I don't even know what to look for. I'm going to just go for this. Allow him to capture. And then, okay, we're trading off two pieces each. Play go or something. I, don't, I actually don't know how to play go. I've never learned. I think it's more popular than this game. I guess they need a leagogo.org or something. <laughs> Might be a hard domain to get. Already looking for tactics. Just improve. Just want to try and control the center. 
aka Cuttlefish calling this a travesty. This is fun. I'm enjoying myself. I hope people aren't having uh, too depressing of a time. This looks weakening, but is it bad? We could trade. It could be too weakening. Let's play here. Just allowing some support. Um, Jared MW Chess. This is not checkers. <laughs> like, at least three or four people have called this checkers so far. This is called drafts. I finally, uh, I finally figured out how to pronounce it today. Um, I'm staying at the same house as a, um, a Dutch guy who, who, who knows this game better than I do. Uh, can I play this? Maybe I should just move towards the center again. I can do this. Okay, we're still developing. Opening principles. So another term, which, oh my gosh, he just allowed very bad things to happen to him. I didn't even realize I could do the final jump. Um, it's so easy to blunder in this game because like one thing you miss and then the position just turns very, very bad. I think he's losing this guy. I guess he could play this and then we trade or not. He's going to play this. I'm going to play this. He has to jump and then I double jump. Yes. Okay, life is good. <laughs> I'm up five pieces. Huge material advantage. But the thing about this game, like I don't I haven't seen too many people just resign. Um, but this position is probably just resignable. And then get opposition with this guy. And the thing is when you're up so much material, um, it's much easier to achieve uh Zugzwan type positions. I think he's losing more material because he can't defend. Like I'm threatening the double jump. Yeah. Like he played this thinking that after I take he can take back, but he forgot the double jump. Which when I first started this game, like it was so easy to miss stuff like that. Okay, now I want to do this. <laughs> I don't think he can save this guy. Yeah, a backwards jump. This is too much fun. Now I just have a massive army. This feels like Horde, except, <laughs> except this is a different game. Oh, look at this tactic. This is going to be so much fun. Okay, now we're going to see how a king moves. Please don't resign. He's going to resign. He sees what's, what's coming. <laughs> or maybe, okay, he'll play, probably play on. Um, so now, okay, this moves like a bishop, but it captures like a, a normal piece. So just to demonstrate, like I'm going to move all the way back. And it's so strong because it's like a long range piece. So I want to, I'm going to start with this. Now I'm threatening to double jump. Actually, triple jump. I could take all of these things. And yeah, he's in trouble because this guy can't be defended. And I have enough time. I'm up 11 pieces. Have I lost a piece? I don't even know how many pieces you start with. Okay, now I want to take this guy. Okay, so now to demonstrate, I have three legal moves here. No, I have one legal move. I have to double jump. Um, yeah, and okay, to demonstrate one nice thing about the interface, when you click on a piece, you can see the legal moves. So here I can only take, and then I have to take here. And he's going to double jump me, so he got the final tactic. But uh, now he's in Zugzwang. I'll pre-move this, going back to the corner. Okay, good game. 
Um, yeah, that was, that was pretty dominant. Uh, okay, let's move on. Uh, we'll play Bouncy Cats. Just going in order. This is so much less overwhelming than Leeches, where I have like 30 pending challenges and I have to use Siri to, uh, to pick a number. I'm going to start with my classic opening. Um, to answer the question from Tech Gambino, I don't think there is an engine, at least that I'm aware of, comparable to Stockfish. I'm going to play this, avoiding this annoying move. And then I'll strengthen the center. We'll keep reinforcing the center. DJ Chess Dog, it was good seeing you today too. There was a lot of people, there were a lot of people at the um, this autograph signing. I've never seen that many people like just be in like the lobby of the chess club. It was pretty insane. Um, but that's what happens when you have like a free event with like all the like the top ten players in the world. It was, Really cool to see. Uh, I'm going to trade, so why not? Are there draws in drafts? Yes. Um, there's a few different ways to draw, which I'm still not aware of like the specific rules. I think there's, instead of a, a 25, or instead of a 50 move rule, there's a 25 move rule. Uh, can I do this? And survive. No, this looks dangerous. Let's do this. Um, and there's no stalemate. So if you're in a position with no legal moves and you have less pieces, you just lose. Which I didn't realize until I got stalemated with like one piece left and then just lost. International drafts has not been solved. That's cool. Okay, this is a move I'm calculating. Just trade stuff. Just improve. And reinforce the center. I think I have better center control. I have these slightly more space with good reinforcement. Okay, so he's reinforcing. I'm going to go here. Wait, is that... It should be okay. Oh, this is a casual game. Why is my rating so low? Confused. Oh, this is a rapid game, because it's 5 plus 5. So I'm, I'm used to playing Blitz. Let's reinforce. Relatively closed position. I would like to initiate some trades. I'm just going to be flexible. <laughs> Tukume64 came here for chess. I'm so sorry. I feel so bad when people say that. Because I know you expect chess from me. And then when I don't play chess, it's heartbreaking. But what to do? I'll do another chess stream probably tomorrow, maybe tomorrow evening. Let's keep reinforcing. This is a really closed position, which I'm, I'm not comfortable with these positions because I don't understand what's going on. I could, that might be a, oh, that would be a big mistake, I think, because it would lead to this. I could do this, we could trade more. Maybe I can do this. No, that's bad too. Okay, let's do this. <sighs> Using a lot of time here. Oh, is there a drafts category? I could change it. I forgot that <laughs> I would have to change the Twitch thing too. Let me see what I can do. Completely forgot about the game category. I'm so used to streaming chess. T 
Japanese tutor, welcome back. Good to see you. Okay, I have to tick. And now, this is my target. I just, I don't want to trade off everything. It's a slightly annoying position. So maybe I could do... Wait, I see a tactic. I do this. He takes. I take. Ah, uh, he can take backwards. But hopefully he won't. Wait, no, that's just losing a piece for me. Huh. Because I want to remove this guy to, like, destroy him. But it's not that easy. Oh, I can just... No, I can't do this, because he still takes backwards. And if I do this, we could trade more. Let's do this. Okay, let me see if I can change the thing. Please don't report me. I had no, no uh, bad intentions. Uh, game, drafts. Update information. Okay. Wait a minute. No, not my lovely daughter. Drops. It like auto filled to my lovely daughter. There's no drops category. But now there is. I just, okay, it's a custom, a custom thing, I guess. Uh, what to do? Maybe this. Now do I have the tactic? No, I still don't have the tactic. I'm just going to play another move and try and manage my time better. Move this. Another piece of strategy which I, I saw somewhere is that you should keep your centerpiece on the back rank just because it has the most flexibility. I do this. Take. Wait, I think this works. Finally, a tactic. Because I double jump. This guy's the, the weak point. Wait, what? Oh, I have a stronger tactic. Wow, I didn't even see that. <laughs> I was looking for the double jump. It le didn't let me do that because I had a triple jump. Uh, that was a pleasant surprise. It's a great thing about this game. If you have like a, a mediocre capture, like you have to play the best capture. So now I'm up, I'm up three pieces, but I have the, the king, which is, I don't know what the value is. Um, okay, now I can capture like this. He might be able to trade it off somehow. Actually, he has a way to trade it off by force, which he didn't do. He could have done this, and I had to take, and then he could take. But then I would take like that. So now he's threatening this, which... Yeah, which I probably shouldn't allow. Let's go here. Get safe there. And now, okay, now life is good. Oh, I think I see another tactic. Wait right here, take, take. And he takes like that. Then I take back. Uh, so that's just a trade. I'll take to land here, probably. Oh, I can take here. It's another missed tactic. I thought it was his move. And then, and I'm missing these backward captures. So that was just, yeah, that was pretty clean. It's like accidental tactics. Okay. 
I can do this. And now I'm threatening the, the double. This is like a skewer, like in chess. <laughs> he can't save this guy. He could try and sacrifice this guy. But uh, okay, this is nice. Uh, so now it's time to just trade. I'll win this guy. Okay, good game. My opponent says facepalm in the chat. Uh, good game. Will you be playing any chess? If I run out of pending challenges, I'll probably play some chess. But I have five pending challenges. We'll play Thaddeus. Longer game, more time to think. I've played Thaddeus twice before, and I've beat him twice. So, trying to keep my uh, my streak clean. Did I not click update? Update information. I changed my game to drafts. With 64 viewers, it's a sign that maybe I should be playing chess. How many squares are on this board? There's a hundred squares, but there's only 50 coordinates because half the squares don't really count for anything. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna go for some opening. Let's go for this right away. Let's go for this. Seems like he's, yeah, I've played, I, I remember the style of just trying to move all the back pieces. Um, this is very resemblant of the hedgehog. Also, thanks for the bits, Japanese tutor. Uh, what to do? Let's do this. I like this already, like from a positional standpoint. I'll probably achieve the same on this side. I was very well timed when <laughs> I said hedgehog. Cheer. Cheering for the hedgehog. Okay. Well, he's playing solidly. Everything's reinforced. I don't really see any weaknesses. I could initiate some more trades. I prefer open positions. This makes finding tactics a bit easier. Can I play the London? I'd be curious if there's names of openings in this game. I was looking up some opening traps on YouTube. It was somewhat interesting. I think opening principles, like you want to access these squares and control the center. That's really all I know. Maybe I can control the center like this. Trade some more. He might go for further trades. Or not. Okay, he's doing the same strategy of reinforcing everything. So I should probably do the same. Feels like I have a slight space advantage though, because he has no pieces on this rank. I have one piece on this rank and one piece on this rank. I don't know if ranks are like a relevant term in this game, but they probably are because it determines like, I would think space is a, an important element, at least a positional play space and center. Um, okay, well I have some forcing moves. Nothing seems too appealing. I think I'll go for the trade of this guy and gain more space. Maybe I should take towards the side. It feels wrong, but I feel like the square is still important. Well, 
Will I be coaching droughts, drafts now? Um, I could coach drafts. I mean, I'm a complete beginner, but I'm learning, trying to apply what I know in chess to, um, to this game. Alrighty, I'm looking for this sort of tactic where it could be really useful. It doesn't quite work yet. I just want to move towards the center. He's going to play this. Just watch him play it. It's a reinforcing move. It's, it's, it's interesting, like, with this game, so I've, I mean, it's easy to notice this in chess, but in this game, I also notice like people have their own kind of unique styles. You can play like closed positions or open positions or, or safe or more ambitiously. Hmm. Okay, let's go for this. It'll be an interesting, uh, this game will be interesting because this is the, li the, the longest time control I've played so far. And we both have enough time to avoid like silly blunders. So this might be a, a much higher quality game. Troll alert, look behind me. <laughs> People were tricking me yesterday. So I was sitting uh, right in front of a window. There's some reflection in the window. I was tricked many times. I like Cover's comment. Black is screwed. Too many weak light squares. All the light squares are weak. Okay, now he wants to double jump. Double jump. Uh, so I have a couple options. Um, before I play every move, I'm looking out for what tactics he can play. Like This is another chess concept where you constantly have to be aware of your opponent's ideas. And I think it's a really important uh, habit to, to acquire from early on. <laughs> I'd be doing some drafts lectures for the St. Louis Chess Club. Uh, nothing, <laughs> nothing planned. I'm actually uh, tomorrow is my final day, as uh, um, of doing residency. So maybe in the future, though, if this game becomes more popular, I was thinking about doing a uh, a horde lecture for their their secret life of pawns class, but um, never got around to that. They actually canceled a couple of those classes because of the tournaments. Okay, let's uh, move towards the center. Yeah, things are closing down again. <laughs> I have to be careful. Let's start with, it seems wrong. Let's start with this. I think it's too bad. Mm, that looks weakening, though. What else to do? I feel like I'm running out of moves. I'm just going to do this. Uh, there's a term in this game. It's called a fork, but it's nothing like a, a chess fork. Um, a fork is just a formation uh, resembling the lambda, the lambda letter, whatever you call it, um, which is like this. 
and it's basically a, a setup to achieve uh, tactics. There's another formation called a tail, which is just three in a row. I don't see any tactics. Yeah, this is a bit frustrating. Because like any trade I go for now, I can't even go for trades. Because any like forcing move I play just allows him a bunch of captures. Am I visiting Quebec, Canada? I was invited to a tournament in Canada, but I think it was Montreal in January. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> what the weather is like. Uh, in January in Canada, but I think it's pretty cold. Um, also, I'm probably going to be in Australia in January or somewhere where it's uh, it's much warmer. Okay, so I want to think. I can't play here because he double jumps me. I can't play here because he double jumps me. I can play here. This has a very annoying style. Maybe I'll play this and just make progress on this side. That's not even a plan, though. We're both following the principle of keeping our last piece on the first rank. January, Australia is like plus 40. Plus 40. Wait, plus 40. Celsius. I'm used to Fahrenheit, but that sounds really hot. I was in Australia in December last year, and it was actually great weather. It was like maybe 30, high 20s? I don't know if that's right, because I forget, I forget Celsius. Also, did he? No, he didn't give me any, any chance. This is really frustrating. And I'm running low on time. to do. So I guess I can do this. I just feel like his position is much more stable than mine. I'm still looking for tactics. Maybe I'll go for like this idea. But he might have some counter tactics. If I play this, he would just play this. I take and then he jumps everything. So let's go for this. Maybe do I go for, I'll go for this first. <laughs> At this point I'm relying on some kind of intuition. Looking for a chess club in Sydney. Nothing around. I heard they ch they opened a chess themed restaurant in Sydney, called Queenside. I saw some post on Facebook, and they have they have items on the menu named after Fiona, after Jen Jahadi, after Ginger GM. It seemed like a cool place. Kind of using some uh, some ideas of of the Kingside Diner in St. Louis. So yeah, that's something to check out. Not comfortable in this position. I feel like I have to get, ooh, that was a really good move. Let's say I was, I feel like I have to get my opponent out of his comfort zone. He's winning a piece here. It's not the end of the world, 
but it's not pleasant. I would like to deep stabilize this thing so this is perhaps a potential target. But that's hard to do. He's so solid. He has like a giant pawn chain in both directions. So I guess I have an option of going to Australia in January where it's <laughs> it's over 40 degrees Celsius. Or I can go to Canada in January where it's minus 20 degrees Celsius. Doesn't seem like a great choice. Choose a game with a... Did you choose a game with the closest name to drafts for your chess, for your, uh, for your streaming? Well, at first I chose something about my lovely daughter because I guess I typed in D-R-A-U-G-H and it thought daughter, but um, then I just manually typed in drafts. It wasn't like a pre-selected item, but it did change. I think it updated. Okay, so I have a fork. This is my fork. It's supposed to lead to tactics. We'll see if that's actually going to happen. So this is 10 plus 0, so time is going to be a factor. He wants to do this. Got some proof. Maybe I'll go for this now. She seems like a very reasonable option. Ooh, he's running some jump. There's a few ways to avoid it. Problem is he's also having ideas of this. It's really annoying. So I'll go for this. We can trade to play much quicker. It's going to do this. Nope. Oh, this is stressful. Is he going to go for the same idea? Maybe he will. Wait, I have a tactic now. I feel like that just leads to a trade. Take, take, take. Oh no, it doesn't lead to a trade. I think it leads to me winning. No, I have to double jump though. Ah, so I can't take here. I have to double jump. He takes backwards. That's just a trade. Yeah. It's disappointing. Oh, but I have this move. So I win back material. Okay, accidental tactic. Now it's going to be equal material. I'm down on time, but at least I have some momentum. And I have a good center control too. Maybe I can go for this. Seems risky though. Just want to put him in Zugzwang. Okay, now I have a pass pawn. <laughs> That's a term, right? And this is not actually a pass pawn because it's blocked. Or maybe it it's not blocked. Okay, now I'm gonna use some 
wizardry. Ah, but he wins this guy. That's annoying. Wait, oh, I win this guy. But my time is ticking. No! Are you serious? And that was a rated game too. Are you serious? Oh, it's one final, and I mouse slipped at the end there too. I played such a good game. I came back. <laughs> too weak, too slow. Oh, what a good game. I didn't manage my time, though. And the, the moment that at the end, I, I thought it was his move. I didn't even see I could do this and this. That was my first loss. That was my first loss to Thaddeus. Good game. Output Coupler, thanks for the, thanks for the bits. Slightly, uh, makes me feel slightly better, but that was tough. I think we, mo we both missed things that game. Got really tactical at the end there. I wasted like at least five seconds. So I was wondering why my time was still ticking. Okay, good game. Um, okay, <laughs> like cool down and maybe play one more. Uh, let's play. Let's play a more open position this game. That was really difficult to play. It's such a closed game. I just want tactics to come up earlier. My opponent's username is interesting. Provisional player. Also, now my rating is 1300 in rapid. Not a great rating. But if I win this game, I'll get a lot of rating points. This is a rated game. I'm playing the Sicilian. Double pawns are not a bad thing. Double pawns on the edge of the board it can be pretty powerful. Okay, let's trade. And I want to go here. Yeah, I'm going to try and manage my time slightly better just for the end game or for, for later in the game. go here. More trades. Now, I don't have a tactic. I thought I had a tactic. Felt like I had a tactic. Okay, let's move up. There's some cases where it looks like you have a tactic, but just doesn't quite work. Sometimes you just need more support. He's reinforcing things. I'll play a bit, uh, a bit cautiously. I don't like when they do that, though. Okay, I'm going to go for the trade. Get a piece to the square. I can't trade off that guy immediately. If I go here, he would double jump me. So, let's go here. 
I want to set up this uh, this tail formation. <laughs> Jimmy Ackerman. <laughs> it's probably good I changed the name of the game then. I didn't leave it at what it was for a moment. No, that okay. I just said this is a bad move, but unlike chess, I'm I'm very like forgetful in terms of like what I'm looking at. I have to just uh, just re-examine everything. Okay, let's improve. Maybe I can improve this first. Threatening this. Just prompting a trade. Also, Chess with Chris. Thanks for hosting. Chess with Chris was streaming earlier. There were a lot of people streaming earlier. I guess it is. Yeah, it's Friday night. Great night for streaming. Uh, let's take what to do. Have to improve. Improve further. Is this website new? I found out about it just a few days ago. I'm pretty sure it's it's very new. Like it's been launched very recently. Um, it's just a clone of Lee Chess. Looks exactly like Lee Chess. But I think it's built by different developers. But the usability, I mean, I'm used to all the features. And it's fun to like just play a new game on a familiar platform. What to do? Let's play. Don't even know what I want to do here. Move towards the center. Legally questionable. Well, Lee Chess is open source, meaning anyone could copy the code and do anything they want with it. Um, I think that's the whole like, like the value proposition of Lee Chess. Value proposition, the right, right word. I mean, that's one of like their um, their values is that they. What am I trying to say? It's so late. Like they want people to use the code and just build things that will bring users value online. So they're not concerned about people like copying the code and building another site using the same, same design. At least that's my impression. I could be wrong, but uh, as far as I know, that's, that's the point of open source. And that's the impressive thing about Lee Chess. Like the people who built Lee Chess are not like paid for doing it. Like there's no ad revenue. The only revenue is like donations. So I guess they are at least the main developer is paid in some way, but um it's incredible that Lee Chess is mainly built on 
volunteer work and just passion. So anyway, let's improve. Actually, he's threatening. He has a threat of this. And then I would have to take, and then he jumps a bunch of times and wins material. It's a tricky move. Very tricky. So I have to do something about that. I'll probably just play here. And now I'm okay. This is another concept of like identifying weaknesses. Like these two things were weak. Yeah, I've realized like if there is a gap between pieces, okay, there's always gonna be a gap between pieces, but if there's like adjacent pieces with no support, then there's all the potential for the, the jump. So I feel like being new to a game like this, you have to make a conscious effort to identify these types of patterns and then kind of look for them and look, look for ways to exploit them tactically. So there is increments, meaning I won't flag with uh, one piece left to take. I started noticing openings similar to chess. I've seen a few opening traps, but nothing comparable to chess. Um, in the sense, I, I wouldn't be able to remember like three moves deep. Still not at that point. Okay, maybe I could remember three moves deep, but in terms of reacting to what your opponent does, it's, it's still pretty difficult. Because like chess, it can branch out in so many different ways that by move like two or three, I'm just trying to figure things out on my own. Okay, let's play here. It's the move I wanted to play earlier. And now I have, oh, I was about to think about here, but he takes, and that would be bad. So let's play here. Create my own app opening. I don't think gambits exist. The only time you sacrifice something is to win it back, like immediately, I would think. I could try and invent some new opening. Random question about web development. I do mostly front end. Um, I used to, like my first major in college was math and computer science. Oh no, did I blunder? I don't know if this is so bad for me though. Because I should win this piece back. I have to take here first. And then, yeah, then I can win it back. Except he's threatening this. No, no that's not a threat. How do I win it back? I could play, I could play this too. Let's do this. Yeah, my first major was math and computer science. And um, I, I enjoyed aspects of doing like back end. Did some projects, like I programmed the rules of chess, um, built some like interface, um, basically built a, Okay, AI, which would just play random legal moves. Um, what else did I program? Programmed Boggle, like the whole algorithm to like solve a Boggle board, like reference a dictionary and find like all the, the words, which is a cool project using some like binary search algorithm. Um, but then at some point I just, I was really passionate about more visual media. And it's one of the reasons why I transferred universities was to, uh, to pursue what I ended up majoring in was interactive digital media. And uh, I was able to pursue it at a school which offered a chess scholarship, which worked out nicely. No alpha beta searching, what's alpha beta? 
I feel like I should know what alpha beta is, but I don't think I got that far. Okay, this would initiate a lot more trades. Let's start with this. Oh man, I thought my threat was to do this. I forgot he could just double jump, which is a bit, uh, bit discouraging, but we'll survive. Krasana, you like my YouTube videos and you fi you're finally able to catch a Twitch stream. Unfortunately, you, you finally caught a stream at a wrong moment where I'm not playing chess. Um, but thanks for, thanks for joining. Um, I'm sorry if you were expecting chess and disappointed, but what to do? Okay, I have to think. What to do is the question. He wants to do this, which would be really annoying. So maybe I just do this. We're just going to trade. That's OK. <laughs> Crows and Stockfish recommends random moves at best. Yeah, it was not a great engine. It was fun to play. Like when it first when it started playing legal moves, that was a huge success. Switching algorithm used in chess programs. Hmm. I know what's the term for the algorithm that Stockfish uses, like the min max the min max to find like the best line or something I forget it's been a while since I've been involved in computer science I'm sensing there should be tactics here the problem is the structure is so solid Should calculate forcing moves. Could initiate some trade. Yeah, let's initiate a trade. Now this guy can get here, but then he's a bit stuck. So yeah, he's just trying to improve. I'll improve as well. Uh, I'm up on time, which could be a factor. We've both been thinking a lot. Maybe I've been just blabbering more than thinking, but. Okay, let's focus. Let's play here. Setting up a simple trap. Which he doesn't fall into. I don't know what to do. This is an awkward piece. Maybe I do this. Just trying to stay flexible. <laughs> I need an I am the I am title beside my name. That would be cool. I don't think I deserve it for this game, though. I just, I'm lacking coordination. It's 
not a good feeling. Okay, let's move this towards the center. Graydon is here. Hello, Graydon. And drafts I am norms. I'm just trying to like understand basic principles. I'm not thinking about norms. But I think there is a competitive draft scene. I was seeing like some videos of like some Blitz Championship or something. And they were playing with chess clocks and everything. I feel like this is just a bad position, but I'm not down any material yet. So a lot of things feel stuck. Okay, he's threatening to double jump. I might have to move forward. I could move here too. Maybe I'll do this. It's interesting formation. I completely forgot about that. That's a really strong move. But does it work? Do this. And he just takes. I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble. Wait, I have an idea. I have a brilliant idea. Oh, it doesn't work though. It almost works. Doing this, he has to double jump. And then I double jump, but then he recaptures. Huge transformation. I'll probably go for that. Anything else? Let's go for that. Yeah, so he wins a piece, but now he's slightly more passive. Problem is I'm a bit stuck. But I can do this. Oh, I can do this and probably just win back the piece. Because after he takes, I can take backwards. And now he's losing this guy. And now it's, it's level playing field. Again with the accidental tactics. Uh, this is, this is five on five. I feel like he has better coordination. <laughs> he has one pawn island. I have like five pawn islands. But that's okay. I'm going to coordinate quickly. Let's start with, let's start with this. I have not studied endgames, so this is a matter of trying to figure things out. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I don't know if I should go for the center or the sides. Probably the center. I'll set up this tail formation, maybe. He wants to do this. He wants to do this. Hmm. Interesting. I'm not sure what to do here. I can do this. I feel like that's a decent move. I 
I'm thinking maybe I, I, I really don't know how these, how certain concepts should apply, but I'm thinking I could get like a majority on, on the, the right side. But I don't know if, I mean, there should be a breakthrough if I get a majority. So like if I go for this, scared, which is formation. My pieces, again, are not coordinated. Maybe I'll go for this. What is that? Okay, I have a, a sneaky trap. We'll see if he falls into it. I'm low on time now, okay. Fabiano emote. Fabiano is playing chess tomorrow. A lot of people are playing chess tomorrow. Also, I have a new Magnus emote. I made one just a few hours ago. It should be it should be available to the subscribers. Okay, he's not blundering. Let's go for this. I have a space advantage, like I'm further advanced than he is. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, because I could be weak, but if I hold on to these guys, I could be strong. Uh, still have no idea what I'm doing. Probably go for this. At this point, I can probably just start calculating ahead. Because now he's stuck. Like, everything is stuck except this guy. Hmm. Let me do this. This is nerve-wracking. Low on time. <laughs> no idea what's going on. I'll go for this. And now all these pieces are stuck. And this is stuck. So he has to move this. That's the only move. And the goal is to get some Zugzwang. You know he wants to do this. I'm running low on moves too. I think I have to do this. And he's gonna. Okay, I just can't think too much. I just have to move and hope for the best. Oh, that's an interesting move. I have to take, and then he takes backwards. Can I get a, still a good situation? Maybe I could even do this. And he's completely stuck. No, he could do this. Oh, that's so complicated. 23 seconds left. I can do this now. I'm going to king first, because now I'm, th okay, I'm threatening to win all his pieces, so, yeah, and now I'm going to queen, or king, <laughs> always get confused with promotion, and I'll attack from the rear, yeah, this should be winning. I can breathe easily. Still maybe have to work. 
if you do this and then this and then they're cut off I can advance <sighs> okay I won a game that was exciting. That was an interesting end game. I did not flag <laughs> like the previous game. Um, final position is opposition. It's a nice opposition. <sighs> a clap from Brayden. <laughs> I gained over 200 rating points for one win. My opponent lost 260 rating points. Was I playing Julian? I don't know what Julian's username is. I really didn't understand the position. <laughs> I don't even know what to like analyze. Um, and already, like I forget what happened most of this game. There is some critical moment. Where is the critical moment? Ah, uh, yeah, so this was a critical moment where he plays here, threatening this. I have no defense, but then I came up with this resource. And somehow it worked out. Where after, okay, this is forcing, this is forcing, this is forcing. It worked out like, okay, white's up a piece, but not uh, like at the very end of all the forcing moves. I, I win this guy. And it was some kind of end game where, I mean, you could try and identify the mistake. But maybe I had some positional advantage because I, I was playing restrictively. These guys were stuck. And then, yeah, white's already like very restricted. Like, already here, it's just losing. We're going back. So maybe around here there's some different strategy, I don't know. Because it seems like white has more flexibility of which, like what side the pieces can play on. Like white can get a lot of pieces to this side more quickly. But I don't know. So I was playing Julian. Right here, uh oh, output coupler said right here. Um, <laughs> if you want to suggest a move number you can't run man up. So the thing about this game is no one knows notation. It's hard to suggest moves. <laughs> Blade Woods, <laughs> probably just joining. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, this is Drops. Um, interesting game. Consumes energy. Maybe around 30 to 35. Oh, like around the critical moment. What was he asking? Can I run? Can't I run? Oh, the right side. Whenever I try and run, he just captures. Like this, this is always restricted. And if I try and like access the square, then he captures backwards. So, oh, from the back. Oh, like this guy. That was another problem. I wanted to play this move, but then he plays this and he's threatening the capture from behind. Maybe it's playable. I could trade off. 
It's actually something I probably could have considered, like playing here. Or maybe, let's go to analysis board. But already here, like the, this was, this whole issue was, um, was a difficult position. Wait, output coupler, do you have a, a username on, on this site? Let me know. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to, if you have a username, I'll follow you and uh, I'll make it so you can, uh, you can analyze. Uh, I'm gonna go to study, make a new study. Call this my game analysis. Oh, you don't have a username. You should make an account real quick. And then <laughs> I'm pasting in, this is so great. This is just like Lee Chess. I'm pasting in this, uh, our game. And if you make one real quick, you just need to sign up uh, username, password, and email address. And then I can add you as a member. And then you can show me where I, I completely messed up. Jimmy Ackerman saying, I feel like the concept of pins and x-ray vision slightly applies in drafts. Yeah, X-ray vision. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, a lot of overlapping concepts. I think Tempe, especially in the end game, Tempe, I think are are huge. If you waste time or your pieces are further back, I think that's kind of what happened in that game. I was just quicker to promote. Just joined output coupler. Okay, so why Min Trong is showing up? I following? So output coupler, you are now a, uh, a contributor of this study. Oh, Min Trong was showing up because he's observing. Hello, Min Trong. Now output coupler is here. So you can see the move number and you can go to the position and just show me what I could have done. <laughs> That's great, like you can add comments too. Comment. Don't think the center is important. Okay, so he's going forward. It's probably better because there's a delay with Twitch. If you type in your message or your like, if you have a comment, type it in in like the chat on the study or even in the like comment area. Okay, now I'm getting a serious question. Wait, I'm getting a few questions. Not more important than the sides, but equal. The sides are, are valuable because a piece on the side can't really be weak and it can generate tactics. But I feel like the center also has purpose because there's just more flexibility in terms of when you're in the center, you can help out either side. So I don't know. There's, um, if you go to learn and study, in a new tab, at least I'm going to a new tab. Uh, there's this study and this study, I guess. I haven't seen this study, but basic structures and systems. Um, I just assumed, wait, I haven't seen all of this. Somewhere I saw that you should control the center. Wow, I have not seen this whole thing. I have to check this out a bit closer. Um, oh, he's doing something. Move 22. Wait, I was black, right? Let me flip the board. Oops. Oh, so instead of... Wait. I'm confused. Oh, because, uh, wait, what? Why does it keep flipping? I'm pressing F on the keyboard, then when I play a move, it flips back. I feel like this is a bug, which doesn't happen in Lee Chess. I could change the orientation. It's another thing about this. When you flip the board, it just completely messes with my perspective. 
But in chess, if you flip the board, it's just the same position. <laughs> Keeps resetting anytime I click anything. Yeah, there's probably a bug where if you're a contributor, you probably don't have full access. If you can't change the moves. Yeah, it's not as powerful as Lee Chess yet, unfortunately. It seems like there are a few bugs. Was this really not made by the same people who made Lee Chess? The, the, um, the framework is probably identical, um, but the, as far as I understand, the whole code base was forked, and then all the chess rules were replaced by drafts. Um, and it's open source, so. Uh, so yeah. Uh, someone asked a serious question. Play the grub, asking, playing in a classical tourney tomorrow, how do you deal with nerves? Yeah, nerves are natural. Nerves mean that you're not, or you're still getting experience. When you, when you get a lot of experience playing in tournaments, usually the nerves will like slowly go away. But it sounds like maybe you're still perhaps a newer player, or you're just in a situation that you're not comfortable with, um, which is natural. Usually nerves will happen before a game, but like during a game, if you just like shift your energy to focus to focus on the position, then the nerves should go away. Um, I mean, what else can I say? Don't worry about the result. Like play to learn. Prioritize learning over winning. That can also maybe help with nerves. If you're not too worried about the results, then you can play a bit more freely, be open-minded. Don't take draws. Don't cut games short if you can play on and learn more. So that's what I'll say. When's my next chess stream? Probably tomorrow. Anyway, I am probably going to take off. We can go back to Lee Chess. Where is Lee Chess? Lee Chess .org. Okay, we're back on Lee Chess. Feels like home. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully some people enjoy this. I apologize to the people who came here looking for chess but got <laughs> troughs. Um, it's 30 people online, not bad. Uh, yeah, stay tuned. I'm working on a stream schedule, so I'll try and be more, uh, more, what's the right word? When it's late, I have trouble coming up with words. More transparent in terms of when I'll be streaming. Um, I do have an announcement about a match coming up, but I, I'll probably save that for another time. So, Joey Pikes enjoyed the stream. Well, that makes it worth it. Cool guy, feel free to, uh, to just message me. I'm sometimes slow at getting back, but I will get back to you. Okay, bye guys. I am going to raid Andres. Let's go to Andres' stream. Raid, I am underscore Andres. Good night.